Tonight, from the Caesars Superdome in New Orleans, it's the NFC Divisional Round Playoffs on EA Sports. Who will punch the fourth and final ticket to the conference championship round? We'll know soon enough as we are underway here on a January afternoon. Now we'll see what the right arm of Dak Prescott has in store as the Dallas Cowboys offense sets up shop. All in all, he was pretty solid in the victory in the wild card round and threw a couple of touchdowns. And when it comes to quarterback play, you'd always love spectacular. But in the playoffs, you'll take solid. And that's exactly what they're looking for from him again in this contest. Yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Five yards remain on second down. To throw is Prescott. He'll get this out wide here to Elliott. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. I like it, I like it, I like it. Get everyone involved in the passing game, and you know you can create those great mismatches throwing it to your guys out of the backfield. And on the first drive, that can also help establish some rhythm, right? I think so. It gets everyone involved. They feel like they're part of it. It really gets them amped up as they go forward. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Out of the gun, here's Prescott. And the Saints pressure gets him. Brought down for a sack. Peyton Turner just would not be denied. That's a loss of seven. They'll need a big play here. Will Dak and the Cowboys after the sack. It's third and long. Here's Prescott. And he'll go underneath here to Elliott. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. They wind up getting 16, but even that's not quite enough. It's fourth down. Out now comes the Cowboys punter. As the first drive of the game stalls out, he's on to punt. And not what he was hoping for there, as this will hit in the end zone for a touchback. So here come the Saints now for their first drive. And they'll be let out by the guy under center, Charles, their quarterback. They'll run it for the first time with Alvin Kamara. And he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two. And it brings up second down. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front. Because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. And he'll get about six up to the 27-yard line. Here's Kamara trying to run for it. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. Well, one unit I know you want to watch is that offensive line. If they keep clearing holes like that, it could be a long night defensively. No doubt about it, because when they are in sync, as we're seeing so far, when that continuity is there, and you can see that they're playing off of each other while controlling the defensive front linebackers, you're exactly right. It could be a very long night for the defense because someone's going to run for some big yardage. Two first downs have them up near midfield now on first and 10. And they'll run on the inside handoff. And he's got this one across midfield in the Cowboy territory. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. This drive is pretty clear. Almost feels like old-school fundamentals, doesn't it? Want to impose their will on the defense. Was that five straight runs? Yeah, five straight carries to start this drive. And like you said, the way it's working, they may just stick with it. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. He'll take his shot for the end zone. And he's got it. Touchdown, Saints. A big play there. The Saints are on the board first here in this division round matchup. Well, we knew they had the crowd on their side. Their defense has already made a stop, but now here's an opening drive touchdown. Yeah, how about the defense making the stop, offense feeling their momentum that they've generated, and turning it into points on their side. So now you've got a team working together, and they've got the crowd involved fully on their side in this ballgame. And in this playoff atmosphere, that 12th man means even more. 
What's good on the extra point? And that makes the score 7 0. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. And this will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. Second drive forthcoming here for the Dallas Cowboys. They trail here early in this division round game as they seek a spot in the NFC title bout. So Prescott to the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Off play action to Elliott. Here's Prescott. This one complete to Scott Miller. And they work this well upfield across the 45. Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down. A first down carry by Elliott. Shifts past him at the 45. And he's got some space here. Touchdown, Cowboys! Ezekiel Elliott, 53 yards. And the Cowboys are an extra point away from tying the football game. Extra point by Sly is up and good. And that will tie our score here in this opening quarter of play. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. New Orleans Saints, they get ready to set up shop for their second drive. Their dreams of an undefeated season shattered with the loss a week ago. Now look, whenever an undefeated team goes down, you always hear some say, well, they needed that. I don't know, Charles, is that a narrative that you buy into? Well, I haven't met a coach yet that feels like they needed that loss. You know, that's not something that they're in favor of. But I do know this. People like us, our colleagues, all of us in the media, constantly hammering a team that's undefeated. Hey, do you think you can do it the whole season? Can you carry it the whole way? That does wear down a group, and sometimes that loss, get us off your back, you can move forward from there. Now this one complete downfield on the left side. The 20! Touchdown, Saints! A great effort there! Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Saints have taken the lead. Lutz with the extra point, and that makes the score 14-7. The long touchdown pass gets him six on a very, very tiny two-play drive that time. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. And there will not be a return here. It's a touchback, and it'll come out to the 25-yard line. Here's the Dallas offense now heading back out onto the field. They trail a one-score deficit, 14-7, as they come up first and 10. They start on the ground with Elliott. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. On second and nine, Prescott. Looking right sideline, but it's incomplete. Well, to me, there is no question about the intent there, and I think he was a little fortunate that the penalty flag didn't come out for grounding. But he'll get away with it and get another shot on third down. On third down, it's Prescott. Able to hit his target, Lamb. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the closed fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. So the completion results there in nine yards, and that'll bring up fourth down. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is set away. And this will be taken at the 13. A nice return that time gets 12 yards back, and the Saints will take over with a first down and 10. 
Back out onto the field now comes the New Orleans offense. And right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. On first down, Willis. Throw left side complete. That's Davis. Doesn't matter whether it's a zone coverage or a man coverage, the drag route can be effective when it's run well. A good gain on first has him set up with second and just a couple of inches now from the 29. Back to throw. Willis uncorks one for Davis. And this is caught right along the sideline. What a job of keeping the toes in bounds there. A big connection on that one. 37 yards. That's a great job of working the sideline right there. I love how he tracked the football the whole way. Just reached up and pulled it in. Had excellent field presence to understand where he was in order to make that play happen. Now a first down carry. It's Kamara. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four. Second and six. Well, in every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later. And let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. Defensively, we always know that he is tough and run support. And I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. From the gun on third down, Willis. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked up at the 17. And he's going to get this one to the 23-yard line. Offensively, when you see cover two, the thought has to go through the quarterback's head. Drive the football when making throws. It's not just the deep guys covering. It's the guys underneath you have to be careful of. Drive your throw. Otherwise, you see what results? Interceptions. They'll start the drive with Elliott. And not much there. Maybe a yard up to the 24. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. From the shotgun, again to Elliott. And he'll get this forward only for about a yard as that's going to take us to the two-minute warning. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. We remind you, as we've done all year, that coming up at halftime, we will visit with Jonathan Coachman standing by in Orlando. He'll let you know what's going on here on a very eventful divisional round weekend. Got an open man. It's Michael Gallup. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, I'm not sure he saw the linebacker there as that's batted down and incomplete. Receiver coaches preach to their guys all the time. Separation, that's what's going to make the play successful. That time there was very little, and I think they were actually fortunate that it was only knocked away and not intercepted. Dak dropping this one off for Zeke. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Here's Prescott. Oh, that's into double coverage and intercepted. Picked up by Marshawn Lattimore. And the Saints are going to have great field position here as this is returned just shy of midfield. And Brandon, this is a real nice job defensively getting inside the quarterback's head and figuring out, okay, where is he going with the football? Because you can make an educated guess defensively, not all the time, but sometimes. And when you're right, you've got a decent chance of coming away with the football. And he'll work this forward for about three at second down. Vision is so important for the man in the middle because his ability to, to, to look through all the clutter that's happening in front of him, diagnose a play, and then go make it and finish it, that's when the great ones know that they have the goods. Second down at seven. Looking to throw. Willis. 
the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. The turnover put them in great field position. They don't want to squander it with third down coming up. No, not at all. And you know what else you do? You make your defense mad. Yeah. They got you the football, gave you a great opportunity. You've got to cash in and get some points. He's going to let this go for the end zone. And unable to connect, incomplete. Now give them credit, they took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. This secondary has been roasted in this first half, but they get a measure of revenge there. Nice play on the deep ball. Yeah, they're going to need a few more plays like that in order to get their confidence fully back, but that's one step in the proper direction. On fourth down, Willis. He's going to try and go deep again. And this is caught inside the five. Touchdown. A great play there. 47 yards. And the Saints now at six to their lead. Partner, to me, that touchdown had something that was kind of rooted in that group seeing the future. What I mean by that is they have a plan. Let's find a way to score right here before the half. And now to give us momentum going into the second half, give us that cushion that we're looking for, they got that accomplished, scoring right before the half ended. Lutz good on the extra point, and it's now 21-7. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. And the Cowboys gonna go on offense one final time in this first half. And they've got less than 30 seconds to go here, so not a lot of time to work with. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Elliott. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the 22. But despite the completion, they're going to wind up losing three there. Second down. So we've come upon halftime. All right, hang on. We'll jump over halftime. A trip to the NFC title game hanging in the ballot. Second half action back underway. And this is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. They'll start the third quarter here on the ground. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. And now they're in the hurry up. Throwing on first down, Willis. He finds his man complete. It's Jenkins. So five yards here, five on the play. And it'll bring up a second down. I've worked with you long enough now to know you like that decision. Go safe, pressure coming, hit your guy underneath. It's an excellent decision, but he knew it came with consequences. And that's him getting hit on the play, but able to dump it to his running back and gain some yardage. I liked everything about it, especially his ability to stay in the pocket and execute. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. And it's intercepted. Picked off by Malik Hooker. And a huge return as he'll take this one all the way down inside the 30-yard line. Well, pretty much everything went their way offensively in the first half, but now an interception on the opening drive of the third quarter. As we know, the key to everything here, don't get careless with the football. The problem is you've got to stay aggressive as well. So where's the line between being aggressive and attacking and being overly aggressive? I think they just crossed it on that one. Seven yards, the pick up there. On second down, it's Elliott. And yeah, nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. He got maybe a half yard at most, but officially they'll be left with a third and two. What an advantage having an elite guy in the middle of the defensive line because not only does he take up the space and let the linebackers run free, they can also make plays himself, as we just saw there. A 
again it's Elliott. And he's going to have a first down here as he gets this one to the 17 yard line. So it's pretty simple, partner. You pick up a turnover, set you up in excellent field position. The last thing you want to do is go three and out in this spot. Yeah, they would have had to settle for a field goal attempt, but now they keep those touchdown hopes alive. And he'll be stopped after a gain of only a couple down to the 15 yard line. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. They'll try to throw down. Prescott. Over the middle, hauled in by Lamb. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. Well, there wasn't much there with that hitch route. They didn't gain what they expected. But sometimes when you call a hitch, you really don't have an alternate to go to. You don't have a second route to throw it to. So sometimes you have to rifle in there and hope for the best. And yeah, the Cowboys are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. They'll try to run it in, going option right. And he'll get blown up behind the line of scrimmage. Back at the six. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. Well, we saw a lot of negative plays that resulted in plenty of lost yardage in the first half. And that trend is continuing here. Second and goal from the six this time. And right side, they're going to go option here. A good display of power, but ultimately it gets him just inside the five to the four and no further. He'll get two on the keeper, but it becomes now a third down. Now Prescott. Flush to his right, and he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. The decision to tuck and run gets him three, but that's not enough. Now it's fourth. How about a tip of the cap to the defense? They're working against a very mobile quarterback, but all day long they've kept him under wraps. And on that play, they held him to a short gain. They'll run it with Elliott. And he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Ezekiel Elliott. His second touchdown of the night. And the Cowboys are able to get a score back in the final stages of this third quarter. Extra point by Sly is up and good. And that'll cut the lead down to a touchdown. One quarter remains for a trip to the NFC title game. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. This will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. And he'll be dropped at the 21-yard line. So bringing it out of the end zone proves not a good decision. Loses him about four yards. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. And this has been a tight game to this point. Of course, they usually are at this juncture of the playoffs. But with the lead in the football, the clock right now, their friend, as they try to book their spot in the conference championship next Sunday. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. They run it again with Kamara. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. That's a big loss of three, and it brings up third down. Now, obviously, that's some good work there defensively, being able to stop them and bring up a key third down. But if you're on the offensive side of the ball, there's an opportunity, because I know what defensive guys are thinking right now, to stop them, get to the ball. That means they might not be sound defensively. There could be some opportunities. And you said key third down. Highlight that word. Put it in bold. Here we go. This offense converted once on fourth down earlier. Now they're out there again to try once more. Now look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked off by Malik Hooker. And they are going to set up shop at the 32-yard line. A critical error there in a tight game of the fourth. All you talk about is taking care of the football, and especially with a lead here in the fourth quarter. 
turning it over. Now the door is open for the opposition. Just in general, when you're passing in the fourth, pressure applied, and he's going to be taken down. They sack him back at the 33-yard line. Marcus Davenport able to collapse the pocket, get to him, and drop him for a loss of a yard. To try again after the sack. Prescott, they'll set up the screen to Elliott. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. I like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need. Down by a touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield. And when they see openings, take their shots. A first down throw for Prescott. He finds his man complete. That's Ferguson. A good rally to the football keeps him to only a yard and it's second down. They play fake to Elliott. Now Prescott. That's into a crowd and intercepted. It's the Honey Badger, Tyron Matthew. He's at the 40. 20. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. Coaches preach all the time about opportunities and taking advantage of them, and he did exactly that. I used to have a coach told us all the time, a lost opportunity is never regained. Well, no regrets here. He picked that one off and took it to the house. And oh my goodness, this is nowhere close. Well to the right and no good. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. The Dallas offense back out onto the field. And this could be the defining moment of their season, all hyperbole aside. You're trailing here in the fourth quarter, the divisional round. And they need to come up with something as they get this drive started. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means they have to run extra plays, harder to move it. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. The Cowboys on third down. Three for seven so far in this game. This is third and four. Throwing. Prescott. And he's able to hook up with Michael Gallup. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And in a two-score game, obviously, every play, every third down, like we saw there, magnified big pickup. It was a huge pickup. What they really want, though, is to not even get to third down. They've got to maximize time and conserve as much as possible. So the Cowboys in possession of the football here as we get you reset. They've got a first and 10 as they search for a late score. Meanwhile, Prescott's throw taken in by Miller. And they'll work this down to the 40-yard line, tackled there. Now Dak. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Lamb. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. Here's Dak. And that's going to be knocked away in the end zone. It's incomplete. It certainly looked like someone was very confident in his ability to fit that one in. I would say he was overconfident because there wasn't a whole lot of separation there. Had that one covered pretty well downfield and knocked it away. And this is caught now for a late touchdown. So hold everything here. This one's not over yet. Okay, game on. Don't go anywhere yet. You got a one-score game now. Probably going to rely on the onside kick coming up. Yeah, they have to. It's not a high percentage play, but it's better than not having a chance at all. And that's when you put your leapers and your flyers on one side, get that high hop, and hope that one of the guys can come up with it. And on the other side, get that hands team ready. No doubt about it. 70 seconds remain. This will be an onside kick. And the Saints hands team able to rein this one in. 
A tough one there. They certainly wanted that when they needed it, but they didn't absolutely have to get it. They still do have three timeouts. You're exactly right. They had to attempt it. But even though they didn't get it, as you noted, with three timeouts, if they can get these stops on defense, all hope is not lost. A tenth carry for Kamara, and he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here. Second down. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with 65 seconds remaining. Second and eight coming up. That one looks like he'll throw here. He's got a man. It's his tight end. That's complete. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. They run the counter. Jenkins. Yeah, he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. The Cowboys signal for their third and final timeout as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds left to go in the game. They stay on the ground. This time it's Kamara, and they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. Again, it's Kamara, and he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain there, and it leads to a fourth down. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. And that's off the right upright. Thought it might sneak in, but it did not. It's no good. And the Saints season will march on as we say thanks for watching and so long. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hardworking men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gaunt. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. The Saints are winners here as we say so long from New Orleans.